Okay, so today we're going to be making a gold coin. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So make sure first that your tool set is set to polygons here. So let's go ahead and go to the create menu and make sure you are under the polygon primitives. And let's go ahead and choose a cylinder. Let's just click on that. I'm going to press F so I can fit to my selection here. I'm going to press R just so I can scale it. And lastly, press 5 so we can see it in shaded mode. All right. Now, if you want this to be higher poly, of course, you can add more divisions to it. Let's go ahead and do that. If you don't have your attribute editor open, let's go ahead and open that by pressing Ctrl A. Let's press Ctrl A again, and we're going to the channel box here. Now, click where the uh, poly cylinder 1 is. And under your division axis, you can click on that word so that it's highlighted and then you can use your middle mouse button to increase the poly count for this. So for this uh, model, it, well, it really doesn't matter how high or low it is. We're just testing uh, how to make a gold uh, material here. So I'm just going to leave it at 49 right now. It really doesn't matter. Okay, and let's go ahead and shape it so that it looks like a coin. Okay, and let's say that's our coin right here. Good. So now we, what we want to do is apply a material that's going to be our gold material. So hold down right click and assign new material. And from here we're going to select a, let's go ahead and use a foam material. Okay, that's going to be right here. I'm going to name it gold. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do to get a gold gold looking uh, coin here is to mess with the diffuse color, which is right here, our color. Now the mistake that most people make who are new to making uh, metal materials is that they try to go here in the diffuse and try to make it like a gold, a yellowish color here and that's really not what we want to do if you want to get a more realistic looking coin here so when it comes to metals uh, you don't really want to mess with the diffuse too much in fact you want to let you can even set your diffuse all the way to black and it's not gonna make a huge difference so I'm gonna set it like a really dark brown color almost black Okay, so that's what your diffuse should be looking like. Again, because this is a metal, uh, the diffuse color does not affect the appearance of the object because the object is, met is metal metal, so it's going to be more reflective. So we're not going to see too much diffuse. So our diffuse has to be really dark. All right, that's all we want to do here. Scroll down. And now we get to our cosine power here, our specular area. Let me close this one. Okay. Now this controls how reflective it is, how glossy it is. So if you have a high, it's going to be more reflective, and the specs is going to be uh, more uh, more sharp. So for this, we want to set it pretty low, like a, set it up three or so, and you can do renders and test uh, what gives you the best results for what you're going for. So this is what we want to be messing with. Uh, which is our specular color so click on that and this is where you're actually supposed to be selecting your golden uh, looking color all right so from here you can select the yellowish or I think it's a bit more orange and again we're just kind of guessing the color of gold we're not being too specific here if you want to be specific I'm pretty sure you can find resources online as to what specific hue uh, saturation and value for gold is so let's set it to that which is like a, like a yellowish type color so that's going to be our gold I'm going to set the reflectivity back to zero here so this is pretty much how you control uh, the color of the gold through the specular color 
and not the diffuse. You let the diffuse to a really dark color. And the same goes for any other metal. Uh, for metals, you want to mess with the specular color and the cosine power as well, which is the glossiness. Okay, so we can go ahead and render. Um, if I render it right here, the way it is right now without uh, like a normal map or bump map, it's just going to look pretty flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, attach a normal map to my model so that it's more variation in how it looks. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to choose file. And from here, make sure you switch to tangent space normal because I'm using a normal map for this. Also, I'm going to be providing these files, just a generic normal map. Uh, you can make your own normal map, of course, for your coin. Um, so let's go ahead and then click on this for. Okay, so we have our normal map. Uh, so to make sure that my normal map works fine with this model I had to go to the UVs UV editor as we can see here I'm going to switch my texture to file 1 so I can see my normal map and from here I'm just going to move this again I'm not being too careful to make this look right um, by the way the, I just pressed W so to select this, actually skip that part, I click on this icon right here and then click on it and press W to move that guy. And I can press R to scale it. Okay, we'll do the same with this one, and click here, click on it, press W to move that guy, press R and scale it. And again, usually you want to make your normal map from your model and not be matching it the way I'm doing it here. But this is just just so that we have something more interesting to see when we render it. And I'm going to scale this guy. Alright, so you don't really have to do this part. So this is going to be a really basic gold material. Uh, so for rendering, so that we can see what it looks like, we can go to, we're going to click here, so that we can get our render window here. Make sure you switch to mental ray. And again, if your mental ray is not enabled, make sure you go to window, settings preferences, plugin manager, and make sure that mental ray is enabled too here. So let's go to options, render settings. Uh, under the common tab, we can go ahead and change our size for the render. Go ahead and set to 720 HD. That should be fine. Uh, you don't have to mess with any of these options, I don't think, for what we're doing. And I'm going to, for my lighting, I'm just going to create a physical sun and sky so click on that and now we can close that minimize that window so now we should have a light right here which is our sun I'm gonna press R and scale that just so I can see it and pretty much you can rotate it I'm gonna click right here so that I can see my texture and if you want to see the lighting, you can press here. You can see how the lighting is affecting the model. So let's go ahead and do a render test. So to render it, we can go to here and we can just click here. If you want to set up your render view here, you can click right here. On this icon so that you can this is going to be your render window and you can set it right here and that should be fine and then here open your render view and click this button so that you can render the image okay so we have our render here and as you can see it kind of looks like a golden type of coin here obviously it doesn't look too realistic but again if we 
mess with the specular color to get it more correct and the uh, cosine power and we do a few test renders we can eventually get a result that looks more appropriate for what we're going for and as you can see here uh, we don't see the diffuse too much uh, that's why we said the diffuse to black but we're still seeing our coin as kind of golden as a golden color here which is the spec that we chose so when you're working with materials that are uh, metals uh, ignore the diffuse, just set that to really dark or even black and then just mess with the specular and you can always plug a specular map uh, where you can have dents and scratches and whatnot to make your coin look more realistic or your metals look more realistic so this is pretty much it, uh, I just wanted to show a really basic this is really really basic uh, material for gold and how we mess with the specular instead of the diffuse for creating that metal look and we can even do the same for in case this wasn't gold we can set this back to something like a gray and let's see what this looks like if we render it this way so as you can see here it still looks kind of reads almost like metal uh, and again all we're doing is messing with the spec and if we have a more interesting normal map it, it will look a lot better so this is a really simple normal map that I made here just for testing but as you can see this is this video was just to give you an idea of what uh, not to mess with the diffuse when it comes to making metals okay